Hi, I'm Travis from Ferntech and the T100s have just arrived. Um, spoiler alert, we have taken a sneak peek, but we're pretty much gonna do an unboxing. Uh, we haven't unboxed anything else, so you'll see it live here with us. Amir, can you give me a hand, please? So the first thing I can see is these terminals for the battery are massive. I mean, if you look at my hand, those are huge. Cool, let's get it out. Push that up, yep. So, only other thing in the box here is the RC, which is pretty standard. Get that out of the way for now. So this is our spray and heat sink. So in other words, battery cooler, battery cooler and spray gear. Let's get this. This we have not opened yet. Cool. Let's get this out. This I would assume is the uh, battery cooling station. All packed in pretty neatly so it's unable to move this is quite a big tank 100 liters like they say initial thoughts it actually looks solid very solid now the scales latches okay these don't actually clip into place they just kind of rest there interesting Got some nice stoppers here on the legs. This feels way solid. Cool, let's grab the power unit. Straight down. Yep, straight down. Well, so that was a bit to figure out, but uh, I think we got there. So I don't think we're gonna have the room here to um, get this completely open but we'll definitely try the LiDAR sensor first look real life this is an impressive machine it really is the ESC's are massive they are really big these motors to give context you know Carl if you can come here that is a sizable difference compared to the T50 by far. Nice thick pipes. These are the full carbon fiber blades. You don't need to take all of them off. There's definitely a bit more of a pitch on them. And they are slightly wider towards the tip. a lot more rigid than the T50 propellers. But that's that's given, seeing that they're full carbon fiber. Where the T50 was carbon infused plastic. Radar, with your additional vision sensors. This is an impressive machine, I eh? Holy moly. Quick connect and disconnect. If you want to take the top off, you just go like that. Pull the arms back in and let's change it out. We're going to have a quick break and we'll be back and we'll unbox the spreading system for you. Right, so we're back. Sorry about the... That was a bit of a mess. Moving boxes around, getting them back together to make space. We are running short on space because of all the stock we've got in. So we've shown you the spray tank. Now we're going to just whip out the spreader and see how that looks. Wow. This is the auger. And there's the base plate. Cool, let's get this out.
There you have it, 150 litre spreader tank. Huge opening. This is the medium auger cameras. And then if you look inside here, there's the large one. You can actually see the comparison. The whole next to it. Quite a difference, eh? So, there's 150 litre spreader. Here's your 100 litre spray. As you can see, they've really opened this up. Much bigger filter, much bigger opening. And then now you've got a fast wall, fast wall hole included with a rubber lid. That's pretty neat. I really like the design of this. So we've off screen, we have opened up a battery. These are the batteries. They're about 2.6 kilos heavier than the T50 battery. And there's a comparison, back to back. Front to front. On the sides. Definitely a lot chunkier. Cool, now that the chaos is all over, we've unboxed, we've shown you very briefly about the new T100. Um, there is more to come. We're going to go a little bit more in depth a little bit later. Fern Tech have been doing this since 2016, selling it right from the first Agris model, the MG01. So I'm pretty sure we know what we're doing. Uh, get in touch with us. You can log on to our website, ferntech.co.nz, and go under the events page. We are going to be having demonstrations in both Rotorua and Living Springs later on in this year. Um, log on to our site, sign up, and we'll be in touch. Thank you.